babes welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video as always i really appreciate it if you're new here my name is Rhoda Miner. this is normally not the content that i put out so a lot of you babes always ask me for advice be it life relationships uh content creation i usually like try my level best to just give you the best advice so a couple of days ago i asked you to send in your questions through my instagram so a lot of people were able to like respond to that i got to read the messages and i was able to interact with a lot of you so i'll be reading the messages i'll be stating the problem that that particular person has and i'll just be giving my two cents on the message itself so feel free to also like add your thoughts to chime in we can help each other deal with whatever life throws at us so i have a couple of questions that i'll be reading out to you of course i won't be invading or exposing anyone this life has a lot to offer good bad bad but sometimes when someone else needs help i think we can always like offer a helping hand to them so without further ado let's just get right with this video so i'll be using my phone to just read it out but also i'm going to just uh, put a screenshot of uh, the question that was actually asked so this lady asked me uh, hello Rhoda I've been following you your content for some time now and I must say babes I just love so I have a small business just started out last year not doing so well as I expected it uh, to but not so bad Sometimes I feel like I want out, but then I remember why I started it and also that time is a factor. Um, as they say, great things take time, right? Will you also have any other advice to me or more so to any other people going through the same and are afraid or shy to reach out and really don't know what next? If you're ever experiencing something like this, just know that you're going to have those days. Business sometimes will just take the toll for all you know, by the way. You can't just start something and just wait it for like for you to just blow up like that. Sometimes if you're lucky, it might happen. But let's look at this this way. It won't happen. And it's really hard for just a business to just blow up just like that. But you're starting a business. You don't expect it to just grow on the first day. You don't expect it to grow on the first month or something like that. It takes time. Everything good, of course, takes time. Today, you might sell one thing. Tomorrow, you might sell nothing. Today, you might also sell like a lot of things and finish the whole stock. The next whole month, you're seated waiting. Give it a chance. You will get there. You will do it. I know a lot of people actually go through this. We all start somewhere. Keep that in mind and let it guide you you will definitely succeed so the other question was um i'm a bit late on this but how do you deal with feeling like you're late on achieving what you see most of your age mates already doing i'm in my fourth year and feel like i haven't even done half of what my age mates are doing and it makes me feel like i'm so late on things babes that is pressure and i'm seeing that you're actually just trying to pressurize yourself that my age mates are actually doing this and this they've achieved all this but me i'm just there and you're looking down on yourself but this is not the best thing that you should even do you're underestimating yourself and i feel like this will actually bring you down to the level that you have no confidence whatsoever and you're just looking at your age mates achieving all these things that they're achieving it's their time now be happy for them your time is coming you just have to be patient it's also applying to the first question it's just like business you have to be patient don't rush anything pray to the Lord ask him to just bless you and wait and make you just patient make you strong to wait for your moment it will make you feel like I'm not getting anything I'm not going anywhere these people are so successful why not me you're going to ask yourself so many questions and this will just end up like making your confidence go like on the low and that's when you're actually going to be like crippled of even doing whatever you actually wanted to do I know it's really hard and i am also a victim because i also go through it but i just try my level best to make 
things feel like of course my time will definitely come i'm going to achieve this and this problem that i feel like our society actually has is that we put a time limit to like whatever we want to achieve like i want to achieve uh, i want to get a car at this age that actually makes you and have like makes you get so much pressure that you feel like i'm getting close to that age and i had promised this and this for myself i've not even gotten a single thing that makes you feel like you you you're not anything you know so i will just advise you don't put a time limit first of all to whatever like you want to achieve just say that i'm going to achieve it my time is coming don't feel pressured about other people it's their time now your time is also coming um this other lady texted me and told me that so my question is on finances how can one start managing herself or get other sources of income as we wait for that dream job me i find it necessary for one me to be precise to look for other sources of income while living with my parents so that i can support myself i don't want to fully depend on them for long since i want to develop myself how can i go about it kindly help i'm stuck sorry for the long post though and thank you for giving us the space to seek for help god bless so there are some people who are actually like born with silver spoons in their mouth like they're getting everything so easily and they have privileges not every one of us is that privileged by the way and that is what makes us self-made so the fact that you've actually thought that you want to actually start like doing a different business before you get that dream job actually like big up babe big up congratulations to you you're doing it right you're thinking ahead you want your future to look great you don't actually have to depend on whatever you like studied on a lot of people have actually ventured into so many different things like in life they haven't like focused on whatever they actually studied you're going to get to your dream job you're working on that you're in school you're studying but it doesn't hurt you if you start a business you start like selling some things to the schoolmates or something like that like just go do you do whatever makes you happy do what makes you smile try as much as possible to like achieve even when you're young there's no age limit once again you're way ahead and i feel like uh, that actually makes you different like go on keep doing you i'm sure you're going to achieve so much just continue with the same spirit so i really want to move out of home i will appreciate your advice i feel like my monthly income is not enough so now to the question like you have a job already and your monthly income is like not so high you want to really move out of your parents house and your bills like you can't actually finish all your bills you can't pay all of them because your monthly income won't be like enough so my best advice is that stay home save up adulting is hard once you leave out of your parents house babes bills are there to be paid things are there to be sorted tokens <laughs> like a lot of things water like mara everything and all that you have to pay for them and you won't be calling you can't keep calling your parents for that they already saw you move out and you wanted to actually show you that mom dad i'm a big person now i can take care of my bills like yeah why like you don't want to call them again so i'm just advising you just wait for the best time so the next one is hey so i have a really big problem at that at the moment and i need your help or just advice your god sent and i just can't imagine how i bumped into your stories when i needed advice the most this is how things are i am pregnant and i don't know who the father is i know it's dumb but i actually don't know because uh, i have been messing around with a couple of men please help because i don't know who to tell what to do where to go my parents will kill me if they know it sucks i am still in school please help i feel like ending my life i actually understand what you're going through it's a really sensitive topic as well and i feel like uh, our culture has actually grown uh, knowing that having a child at a certain age first of all is something that you shouldn't even be proud of when you're young and it's something bad it's a disgrace first of all a baby is a blessing i just feel like uh, you should just uh, keep the pregnancy and 
just try and find a way that you're going to approach your parents and tell them that this and this happened it's going to be of course hard for you to even approach them and it will take time but just try your best to also just tell them so that they can also just come to the realization that of course you still have to like continue with your studies and everything you don't stop because you're pregnant when you finally give birth uh, you will be able to just like get like a test done the dna test and you can be able to just look at the people that you're with so that you can identify whose child it is uh, people can actually be praised and like you just have to make sure that whoever you're with is someone that you just don't want to have the fun at that time and then later on what next so we have to also like look at the future you just don't want to always be with everyone you understand what i mean there are so many ways to like protect yourself from this so please just keep that in mind as much fun you want to also have just also consider the other things that you need to protect yourself from as well make it easy i know it can be really stressing but i'm definitely sure that you're going to like manage through it all so we've been able to talk about a lot a lot of conversations that actually need more time to even discuss they still have so many things to just talk about but whatever i was able to cover i hope it was able to like help you you might be going through the same problem and you actually just needed an advice and i hope that actually just helped you give me your two cents on whatever like advice that you'd give to these problems to these situations because i'm sure you can also just help with more advice that i haven't given and i haven't mentioned i not only want to create content that is just uh, entertaining but also content that actually inspires and also helps with issues with their life and everything you might be having a problem that you also just need advice for so feel free to just leave me a dm send me a message and i'm definitely just going to do my level best to help you with whatever best way i know how to so yeah that's all i had for today thank you so much for joining me on this first episode please like subscribe to my channel i'm gonna see you next time